I feel your pain today. It's a pain in the process. You better make them feel your pain in this process. Whoa. Come on. Come on. You want to start the, the year off with an exclamation point? You let the American Conference know what in the hell's coming. You hear me? Yes, sir. Let's go get it done. I'm hot. I'm hot now. I don't even. What, I don't even know who to bike at though. I mean, well, I don't know where the, where the camera. At. Oh, oh so, that scared me. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Boy, you, can, you cannot pull up on me like that, boy, in the cut like Barasa, boy. No, nah, for real. Oh, he tripping. Okay, cool. I gotta step back. Not the fan. Let's go. And uh, to finally get the season started was everything, just to see all the hard work uh, that we put in finally come to life in front of Dallas Pickett Stadium, in front of all the Greenville, in front of the Pirate fans. That's, that's everything. That's everything that we dreamed for, everything that all the summer workouts was for, um, was for you guys and for, for the fans. So it was amazing to see us all come together as a team and finally get a break from hitting each other and finally uh, be able to put it against somebody else. No dreams in the box, it's real now. It's on. It's real. That deep is real. The culture was built off the off the basis of the fact that we need everybody. So uh, I think Coach Hero does a good job of, of striking down that to the defense that it's gonna take everybody. Everybody that's in those defensive meetings that once their numbers call, you better be ready. I mean, that was that was kind of the mindset that I had to take on last year was it's going to take everybody and that the team needs me even when it, it might not seem like it. So that's kind of what, as older guys, uh, we try to drive home to the young guys. Is it, it doesn't matter when your name is called. It doesn't matter if you, if you might be sitting right now, but at some point we're going to need you, whether that be early in the season or later. So that's how you build depth is, is, is having confidence in the younger guys to go out there and perform when they need to. So the off ball tight end, the wheel guy, uh, it's basically like we, we web that and then they, like we sort out them two. The money! The money! <laughs> Let me take this route. Let me take this route. Let me get this route. Man, I mean, my, my story is a little bit different. Um, I, I faced adversity within three months of me stepping onto this campus, um, tearing my ACL. Uh, funny thing about that, I didn't know I tore my ACL until I woke up from surgery. So I woke, woke up, opened my eyes, and it all hit me at one time. So with that, I, I had a decision to make of what type of player I was going to be, if I was going to quit, if I was going to give up if I was gonna actually press through that thing. So just facing all those trials and tribulations when it might've felt like I was by myself, I never was. I mean, I, I would honestly say stepping into this role this year, uh, the leadership role and a starting role, um, at face value, it, it may seem like it's my first time, but to me, it's been something I've replayed over and over in my mind hundreds of times. First, it was just a long process of constantly demanding the best out of myself, whether that be in my rehab, my study, or whether that be physically on the field or, or emotionally, spiritually. I constantly, for months and months and months, had to demand the best out of myself before I could even think of myself as someone who would demand the best out of my teammates. So. Check me out. Bro gave an immaculate pregame speech. He was talking about you gotta feel the pain. Bro has been through the pain, bro. Y'all my brother, y'all seen my process. Will you make them feel the pain in the process? Again, they fool. You take no prison. No. Will you get right now today? We not going back. Let's ride. When it came down to it, that's what made it easier for me, so. I just want to be seen as somebody who wants to demand the best from their teammates and who already does that for themselves. Money. Like, why he hot? I don't know why I'm hot. He's a great guy. 
This is a swell human being. Hey, this is a bulldog. Hey, this is my leader right here. Bulldog. He's a leader. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's what I said. What I said. Yeah, I'm doing my door right now. What am I doing? Right here, homie. What you mean? Oh, oh, oh. I ain't got nothing with it. Oh, you for real, Mike Duck? I'm for real. What you mean? Am I for real, Mike Duck? Nah, this ain't for fake. Oh. Nah, they 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 just mic me up when I was down there. Oh, you're my up. Look, he about to say something crazy now. Up. Did you brush your mouth today? Would y'all like me to tell all the guys' deepest, darkest secrets? Turn it on the whole time. We do got blood on. You want to burn the hole in it with the bread? <laughs> and that boy try to talk to the mic. I'm gonna burn. But they're not putting none of this on there. I don't even know why you're doing all that. I, I think. Coach Houston had his message toward the, to the team after the game was that we played a, a good game for a first game, but he sees how much we have to work on. And I think he sees the potential. And potential is a funny thing because potential can lead you up or down. And so I think his focus on make, is making sure that our potential leads us up and making sure we actually fulfill that potential. So I think the biggest thing is making sure we go at each other on, at, on that Tuesday practice and making sure we can clean up all those things. I feel like we have a constantly, uh, a constant growth mindset to make sure we don't, we don't stay, stay the same. If you're not getting better, you're getting worse. And I feel like that's what he strongly believes in. I feel like that's what he's trying to push the team to believe in. And that's, in my role, that's, that's what I also want to push the defense this week as well. It's been a journey since uh, since I've gotten to college. Um, the last time that I got to play in the game was 2022, um, at the end of the season. So uh, that was the last lap, last snap that I took. Um, but I mean, it's been a journey. And I uh, went to Missouri last year, didn't take a snap, was a, a scout team guy. Got to take my little eight reps on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, so getting back out there, getting the first game jitters out, it was fun. So my family moved out here. Uh, my parents are out here. Uh, they're out here. My dad struggles with flying. Uh, so I mean, being able to come out here and be in every home game and uh, they'll be traveling to the away games as well, um, as many as they can. But it's a great opportunity for them uh, just to come out here and watch me play uh, and enjoy every moment of it. My dad played uh, quarterback over at Nebraska um, back in the 70s, which was a while ago. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, he enjoys it. And my mom, mom gets a little bit stressed out, but uh, she, she enjoys it too. I think, I think just being with each other, the more that we're with each other, I think the stronger the glue becomes um, within the offense itself. And uh, with me and Coach Baker, um, I think just kind of seeing where we where we connect and uh, um, just trying to build on that. I think each week and every single day going into practice, uh, I think an open communication, and that's the way that we build, uh, build trust within it and uh, feed off of it like the defense is. <laughs> Oh, I threw the five. Come on, come on. Oh. You got it? Yep. Oh. 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 I'm in front of you. Nice grab, nice grab. Oh. That's out of the picture. That's out of the front. No, you're done. You're done. <laughs> Yeah, Coach Houston is a is a great coach. Um, I mean, we had a conversation and he's really just told me, you know, at the end of the day, we're we're tied together, right? So, um, I mean, as a quarterback and as a head coach, a lot of times that you take more credit than you need to and then that you should um, when we win and when things don't go well, um, a lot of the times you take more blame than you should. Um, but I mean, everything at the end of the day falls on us. Um, so. Uh, just having a great relationship with coach is, is really important. But you know what the keys this game are? Fast, physical, discipline, execution. Fast, physical, discipline, execution. Fast, physical, discipline, execution. Foot on the gas for four quarters. You got that? Yes, sir. We have done enough talking. The talking is done. It's time to put it on the field in front of all those people right there. Coach Houston's pregame speeches, he told me before the game, he's like, hey, don't mind me before the game. Like, 
you don't want to be around me before the game. Just kind of trying to keep me neutral and level-headed uh, before the game and not get too amped up and not get too excited. Um, but, I mean, I, I definitely fed off of it, and uh, uh, I think it gets the guys going for sure. I mean, the equip our equipment staff is great here. Uh, I love Steve, man. He always he always has my back, whether it be a helmet, shoulder pads, or whatever I may need. They work their tails off every day. I couldn't imagine being being one of those guys back there, man. They, uh, I think that they're appreciated, but I don't think that they're appreciated as much as they need to be. Um, uh, and that's that's all honesty. I mean, I think that that they come in. I know for a fact that they come in each and every day. You know, they they, they really keep us going with our practice loops, game loops, and uh, all the workout gear they give us, uh, knee pads, thigh pads, all the things that that get us ready for game day to be able to perform. Uh, they're out there setting up the football field for us before practice, early in the mornings, in the springtime. Uh, they're out there setting up for our, our like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., whatever, uh, mat drills. They're always there for us, so they've been big. They've been huge in setting us up, um, and they're going to be a big part of our success for sure. Yeah, so Adidas is our primary power provider. We've been with them since at least I've been here. I think the contract started back in 2016 or so. Uh, we've been able to uh, develop a bunch of you know, uniforms through our time within the uh, within this contract. Yeah, for helmets, it's uh, Riddell and Shut. Uh, we are what we do is basically based on the guys what their needs are, what they prefer to wear. We ask them before they come in, hey, what style do you want? Uh, it helps us with our orders, see what we have, you know, inventory based on the uh, shelf life of the said helmet and everything. And then we go ahead and we fit the guys up. Uh, as they come in, we get, each kid has three helmets with us right now. Uh, and in this case now, in the world of uh, coach to player communication, a uh, few guys will have uh, up to six. Yeah, it's a new deal with, uh, with the communication from player to coach inside the helmet. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's pretty cool. I would say it's pretty cool for sure. Uh, you kind of get the, the feeling that like you're in the league. Um, you see those guys out there in the league and things get loud and the quarterbacks put their hands over their, throw their helmet over their ears and uh, just to kind of tune out the noise and be able to hear the mic. Um, but I mean, just to get the play call and sometimes get tips and reminders before the play, uh, before you snap the ball, uh, it's, a, it's a great opportunity to, to kind of be in his head, right? And that's that's big as a quarterback. You want to be in the office coordinator's head as much as you can and think how he's thinking. So uh, just things to look for and there's friendly reminders in there as well. So what they'll do, it, so basically this will be all put up in here inside the, inside the helmet. Microphone's right by the ear holes. So that way the receiver catches it, the player hears the, call, the play call, and they go out there and they uh, execute. Team mentality this week is just go out there and play our game. Play out, play our game, play physical, um, and come out with the W. Go 1-0. Uh, it'll be a fun one for sure, but we have to be tuned into locked into the game plan. Um, we're about to go into a real hostile environment up there in Virginia. Um, it's going to be a great game, but we all, we all understand that if we do what we're supposed to do and handle our business, then we'll take care of what needs to be taken care of. Uh, I think the focus is really just going in there, playing fast, playing physical. And, and being able to dictate the game in, in our eyes and, and how we see fit. So that's going to be the big key is, is not letting the game get out of our hands. And basically the, the, the key and the theme every week is to control what you can control. And just keep the main thing the main thing. We'll, we'll be able to survive from there for sure.